good, DJBooth.net. This is DJ Blaze, Kareem Julian, and I'm coming at you to give you guys a full video review of the Mixed Vibes Cross Pack Digital Vinyl DJ System. So here it is guys, this is the Mix Vibes Cross Pack Digital Vinyl DJ System. And basically a DVS system comes with a hardware component and a software component. And you put these two together along with your external mixer and your CDJs or your turntable. And then you'll be able to play those digital files that are found on your computer back using those vinyl control CDs or you know vinyl here. So that will allow you guys to use your external playback options in order to mix your digital files found on your computer. So basically we've been trying to review uh, these DVS systems for you guys, the different ones, the ones that aren't the popular ones like Tractor and Serato, everybody knows those are the big dogs but they cost the most money so we're trying to bump it down a notch and find something for more affordable for you know the people who want to spend more money on their decks or on their mixer and you know this doesn't get as much maybe money pumped into it so this may be one of your options here it's called the Mix Vibes Cross Pack and it comes with a hardware component and a software component and the hardware component is the U46 MK2 it's very nice it's built very solid very sturdy metal all the way around there's two sets of RCA inputs on the back and three sets of RCA outputs there's also a mix output uh, the USB port and the power cable goes on the back on the front you have a mic input and a headphone output and you can select the level of each of those inputs on the back either from phono or to CD depending on if you're using vinyl for phono or your CDJs with the control CDs. Now you can also use this setup without any external decks if you choose to do so. That way you can just use your mixer um, alone in order to mix back and forth between the track that you have within your software. So it's your choice to use the time code option if you want to or not, but you can still use the sound card along with an external mixer in order to do your mixing within the software, just like with any other DVS system that's out there, it's possible. So, very nice nice hardware. The hardware is very sturdy, very durable. Um, one of, the, one of the, the better feels to a sound card. We re reviewed the M-Audio uh, Connective a few weeks ago, and that was a plastic sound card, so much uh, better quality here from the actual sound card itself from Mixed Vibes. So kudos to them on that. Next up you have the software. The software it comes with is the Cross 1, I'm sorry, is a, yes, the Cross 1.5, but there is a free upgrade for Cross 1.7, and you can do that upgrade online, and then there's another free upgrade to Cross 2.0. Um, Cross 2.0 gives you uh, nice loop controls, it gives you uh, two decks of control and two decks of sample control. So you get eight sample banks in each one of those decks, um, sample decks, and you also get eight cue points on each of your track decks, uh, along with all the looping controls. You get about ten effects that are found in the software, nice effects that they have in the system. You can only do one effect per deck though, um, so you're not allowed to really combine any of the effects, but you do get a nice bare bones st style system. You have a good clean layout and everything is just right where you need it to be. It's easy to navigate through your file system and to select whatever you need there. The MIDI section, in order to uh, program your controllers, they have a long list of controllers that's already out there on the market today that they already have native support for. Mostly all the Vestax controllers, um, some of the Reloop controllers, and a bunch of other ones that are out there on the market are already um, programmed into the Cross 2.0 software. So it'll be easy for you to just plug and, and get ready to play. Just to elaborate a little bit more on the setup, um, in order to set it up, you just upgrade to the Cross 2.0 software. Uh, like I described to you earlier, you go on the website after you enter in all of your serial numbers, and they'll give you a new key for the new Cross 2.0. And basically all you need to do is hook your turntables up into the inputs. Uh, you'll put your channel 1 into input 1, channel 2 into input 2, and then you're going to run your outputs over to your mixer. Um, you're going to use channel 1 again for channel 1 and channel 2 for channel 2. Uh, next up you're going to plug in your USB to your computer that way cross picks it up and you put in your power cord and you press the power on button on the top here and you're pretty much ready to go. After that you go in the software and it's already set up for vinyl or CD time code control so it was very easy to set up. I didn't have to really 
fuss with any of the actual preferences or anything like that. It was like set up, plug and play. It was one of the easier DVS setups that I, I set up before. Um, next up, uh, in practice, the digital vinyl system was very worked very well. It comes with two digital vinyl records, and we did use this in the analog setup with vinyl records, and we had very, very good playback. We had great scratching. There wasn't any times where we heard any type of noise that was out of pocket or anything that we didn't expect. Everything sounded sounded great and it just worked just almost just like real vinyl. So we have no gripes with the system. The latency was great and everything just was right. It just felt right. It felt like you were using real vinyl here. Uh, same with the CDs. We also used the CDJ. We used the DNS3900 with just the CDs and that worked out just as good as when it was on vinyl. So this is a good system, it's a good setup. I think they're coming in at about 200 bucks. You can find them $200 on the market today. You know, uh, Tractor 2.5 Pro along with their interface just lowered their price to $300. So it's up to you if you feel those extra features that maybe are found in Tractor or Serato are worth the extra price tag. Um, they, the extra features that they have are a lot more effects. They have uh, cue points, uh, a lot better mapping. Uh, just a lot more options to choose from when you're using something like Tractor, but again, it's a hundred bucks cheaper and you know that's pretty good savings if you just need a bare bones type of DVS system and you just want it to work um, perfect the first time. Uh, this is also a USB 1.1 device, so the sound quality on this device may not be as high as the sound quality on the Tractor and the Serato interfaces, but you are getting a nice high quality sound. It still sounds really great. And I would definitely trust my gigs and my parties to this complete setup without giving it a second thought. So for more on the full written review, you can head on over to www.djboot.net slash djs. You can also follow me on Twitter at djblaze underscore djbooth. And keep subscribing to the YouTube channel. That way you know exactly when these videos are coming out first and when we're going to bring them to you. That's real DJ Blaze. Thanks for watching.